today we're going to be looking over the best resources for plugins, how to install them, and yes, they're all completely free. Lock in and let's get into it. So macros are going to be the most common thing that you will find when searching for extra effects and plugins to use for DaVinci Resolve. And all of them are targeting the Fusion page. So if I right click, for example, and click on Edit Macro, these are all the macros that I've downloaded over the years. If you want all of these macros, there is a small section in my Discord server to just get them all downloaded all in one go. But I want to go over the resources so you can find your own macros and have an amazing, beautiful menu like this full of effects that you like. Let me go into the Fusion macro folder right here. So inside this macro folder are a bunch of files ending in dot setting. If you ever receive a dot setting file type, that means it's targeting this folder right here which I will put down into the description so you can just copy and paste it. You can open up any of these files inside of Notepad, for example, and you'll see it's literally just text. Every single dot setting file is text, it's code, you can open it up and it's pretty much open source. You can modify it in any way that you want and you can even control C, click into resolve and control V. You can send these files over email, over discord, and all the other person would have to do is just copy and paste it and they'll have it right inside of their Fusion workspace. The second most common file type is the DRFX file. You'll see a lot of Dimitri Resolve YouTubers advertise the DRFX file. It's really easy to download. All you have to do is double click on it and it'll open up Resolve and it will prompt you to install it. So if you click on this effects button and go to the templates folder, it will most likely target towards here and it will also be installed on the edit page. So if you need your edit page presets, transitions, most likely you're gonna be running into the .drfx file type. So OFX plugins, for example, would be your Sapphire effects, your BCC effects, Dehancer, most things that are paid plugins, services that are subscription-based, most likely they're going to be giving you an OFX file type. Most of the time when you're dealing with OFX plugins, you're going to be given a whole zip file to then put inside of your plugin folder. The After Effects plugins are actually inside DaVinci Resolve. You just have to search for the specific OFX version of those plugins. So if you're just starting out and you just want a couple of macros and plugins to play around with, I highly recommend checking out the Ikawa macros. This is pretty much your starter pack if you want to have really cool looking edits the most common ones i want you to download are the 157 free macros in the ek2 macro collection and all of these are going to be setting files so let's say i want to get the ek3 trace effect for example i can add it to a cart and you do have the option to donate to ikawa highly recommend it he makes amazing stuff type in your email here and then press download now and just like that, I have the ek 3 tracery dot setting. And since it's a dot setting file, that means I have to put it inside of the macro folder. So I'm going to open it up in my folder right here, open up DaVinci, right click, edit macro, click on anything, click this three dots right here, press open, and then it will put you straight into the macros folder. Then you want to take your setting file and just drag it in. And make sure you don't put it inside of a folder. I mean, you can put it in a folder if you want to for organization. And just like that, I don't need to restart DaVinci or anything. I can just go back to Fusion and type in Tracery and I'll have the effect right then and there. If you join my Discord server, you can easily find the packs right here, or you can go straight to Yakawa's website, which will be in the description. The next most common resource that I use for finding macros is called We Suck Less. You can find it at stakeunderwater.com slash we suck less. And this site does require you to log in and make an account if you want to download any of the plugins here. So you do have to make an account, but it's still free. Once you're logged in, what you have to do is scroll, scroll, scroll down towards the we suck less lab or the reactor submissions. And this will put you in a kind of open forum where a bunch of really talented people in the DaVinci Resolve community come together and post their projects. And this is where you'll find tools that are in development, tools that are in beta, or things that are already released. And all that will be explained here. So you can just scroll down and find crazy stuff. So for example, you have the puppet pin tool and anti-aliasing though, like a bunch of crazy stuff that you just wouldn't expect to be inside of DaVinci Resolve you'll probably find inside of the We Suck Less lab. If you do get a little bit lost here, one of the people you can go to are just crop it. All you have to do is just click on the profile right here 
and go to topics and this is the guy that made the glow it node the defocus it node and they make extremely reliable and good tools for davinci good stuff the next resource i want to go over is jun yu this is officially baller knowledge so if you are looking at jun yu's youtube channel you are officially a baller and you have stuff and resources that i'm pretty sure like 80 percent of davinci resolve in america has no idea about if you go to their youtube channel and just like scroll down you'll learn so many new things that are just like you wouldn't even imagine the stuff that he pulls out in his series of black magic fusion tips okay so i highly recommend looking at Junyu, but he does have a gum road available i'm gonna put a link to this if you go to june 3546 gumroad.com that's another resource for really really amazing macros now i know in the intro i did say that oh my god these are free and all that but you know the prices aren't outrageous and unaffordable and for what they're worth i'd say it's actually worth it you will be impressed he just released the shatter effect for example and it's incredible i just bought it it's really really good i want to make a video on it but i, ha I kind of have to make envy basics part three so <laughs> um this is gonna have to wait the next most reliable resource that i like using or finding effects plugins whatnot is the davinci resolve community discord server if you scroll down to the community tools section you'll find a bunch of amazing effects that the community has made for example sai recently made the blob tracker effect coming from touch designer and it's fuse based so it's not lagging so just amazing job on him um and you will just find a bunch of effects here some of them will be for the fusion page some of them will be for the edit page and yeah i just highly recommend you giving this one a look and you can scroll and find some really cool stuff then you have the useful links section which you can also give a glance over you can learn some pretty cool stuff from this server then you have the final and best resource in my opinion the clout city discord server if you go to the davinci effects tab you'll have all the effects that i mentioned inside of my videos and then a small little tutorial that's 22 seconds showing you where to put all the files just in case you didn't really watch through this whole video and just skim through and then you have separate discord channels just for like main videos Videos, like the manga compositing video custom loading screens custom themes stuff like that and it's all here so yeah give that a look anyways i'm going to be putting the links for all of these extremely helpful resources down in the description so i highly recommend checking all of them out till then keep editing make sure you have fun and clout vfx out see you in the next one